welcome to today's video. Today is my May Bed Love The Boxes. I actually had to think about what month it was then and realised I was right and it is May. All the months are merging into one. We're gonna dive straight into Pip Box like we always do. Okay, and in this month's box, it's looking pretty full to be fair. Ooh. The first thing that I see in this box is this. This is the Skin Fed Organic Blueberry Glow Mask. It's recommended for tired skin. This mask is great for repairing, restoring, and nourishing, and anti-aging. Blueberry is superfood for your skin, making your skin look plump and firm. It will also protect against oxidative stress apparently by neutralizing free radicals and pollutants this retails for 14 pounds that's kind of cool i like this i like the packaging as well it's like a paper paper star packaging with a little plastic lid kind of looks like a little yogurt smoothie thing like a ella's kitchen juice pouch for a child but i kind of like it i don't mind masks being in funky packaging and i feel like this is a bit more I feel like this is a very eco-conscious way of doing things. It's not full plastic packaging. However, I'm pretty sure, pretty certain that this is plastic lined inside just because of the nature of paper. It would go wet, increase, and it would explode everywhere. However, even if it was a plastic pouch, it's still far less plastic packaging than a squeezy plastic tube, if that makes any sense. But it's 100% natural, which is really good. So regardless of it having a plastic lining packaging, um, that's really cool. I really, really like that it's 100% natural. Obviously, Pit Box is a cruelty free box, but it does aim to be um, very eco conscious, natural, kind of that good feeling. Um, I really like that. I really like that. I'm excited to try it. I don't want to open it yet it's just because it's got one of those crack seals and because it's natural. I don't want the oxygen to get to it yet because <laughs> I have so many masks to get through first. <laughs> the next thing in my box is this. This is the NCLA Vitamin E Infused Cuticle Oil. This cuticle oil is perfect treat for your hands. Vitamin E extract paired with sunflower seed oil nourishes your nails and locks in moisture. It gently, uh, sorry, it's gentle rubber gripped dropper allows for perfect dosage and application every single time. It retails for £15, I think. I think that's pretty fair. I mean, the mask was like £14 and I feel like that you pay a little bit more for it being a bit more eco-conscious. £15 for a nail treatment. I think if it was £10 I'd feel more comfortable and that sounds silly, but I just feel a little bit more comfortable if it was a little bit cheaper. However, like how much oil do you truly need for a cuticle oil? I feel like you wouldn't use this very quickly. So then again, I think its formulation was nice, then I would happily pay £15 for it um if the formulation was really really lovely i think if it was just whatever i think it's a little bit expensive um let me give this like a little sniff Ooh! oh crud wait oh no that went on my hands ah oil everywhere well now we're rubbing this into my cuticles because i just dripped it all on my hands Ooh! oh it does feel quite nice Oh, it's like a dry oil, which I really like. I hate, you know, like sticky, slimy oils where your hands feel really, like, greasy. This isn't a greasy oil. My throat just caught on his voice. Did you hear that? It's not a greasy oil at all. It's really, like... It's one of the sort of oils that soaks into your skin nicely so it looks like your hands are shining. You won't be able to see it. But, yeah, that's really nice. It smells like... Hmm. A mint biscuit. You know when you get biscuits at Christmas that have that mint filling and it's the chocolate so you can smell the biscuit but I can smell the mint and I can smell the chocolate that's exactly what it smells like a mint chocolate biscuit it smells good I like it the next thing in my pip box is orange tube Ooh, okay I'm excited about this this is the Ben and Anna natural soda deodorant with Indian mandarin and vanilla orchid it retails for £9.95 it's made of 100% natural ingredients and Ben and Anna deodorants effectively tackles pest Oh my goodness perspiration and neutralizes odor to keep you feeling fresh all day it's cruelty free vegan and made with fsc recyclable paper which means it's zero zero waste basically 100 zero waste this is the point i was trying to make oh oh there's something phallic but also quite enjoyable about that oh smells nice i think it's the vanilla like that i can smell the most the vanilla orchid it's not like um cooking vanilla it just smells like a really nice vanilla flower. Mmm, I like that. So, 
I've had uh, deodorants like this before uh, in a sense that they come in a cardboard tube. Um, so actually it's completely guilt free, it's a guilt free deodorant. Everything inside is good for you, everything inside is good for your pits, it's good for your pits man. It's very, oh, oh, that came up far faster than I thought it was going to go up. So you basically push it up at the bottom and then it's like one of those smarty push up lollies, do you remember? So you just push it down to be done with it and then you put the lid on when you want to twist it up you just push it up sort of thing from the bottom um, and rub it on. I really like Ben and Anna deodorants. So I think I'm going to really like this and it's guilt free. It's guilt free. The next product in the box is this tube here. This is the Flawless Beauty Palmer Violet Luxury Body Cream. This retails for £4.50, which I think is quite expensive for such a tiny tube. Uh, this luxurious and fast absorbing body cream is infused with a nostalgic, sweet and powdery scent of Palmer Violets. Nourishing argan oil provides a wonderful nutrition for your skin as cocoa butter hydrates for a gloriously soft skin feel. Your skin will say thank you. Now I bloody love Palmer Violets, so... Oh, wait, no, 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 wait, I smell it, I smell it. Oh! At first I couldn't smell it. But now I can, I'm not gonna lie, it's not like as strong as I thought it was gonna be. It's nice. How much is it again? £4.50? Mm, I think I'd rather pay £6 for something better than this in my personal opinion. Um, it, it's nice, I don't think it smells that strong of Palmer Violets, I think there's a hint hint of it there. I don't, yeah, I mean if someone gave this to me and was like what does this smell of, I'd probably say oh, it always got a hint of lavender, I wouldn't say it smells of Palmer Violets. Um, but it's nice, I mean, yeah, sure, cruelty free, vegan, it looks like it's got some good ingredients in there, um, I don't doubt that it's very nourishing, very hydrating. Um, I think only time will tell with this. Time will tell because if I like it as a body butter, then sure, you know, £4.50 is not going to be a bad price. But I just think I know I like other body creams that are a little bit more expensive and that are much nicer. So, yeah. And the last product, I think it's the last one. Yeah, the last one is this little thing. This is the Honey Pie Minerals Candy Blush. It retails for £7.99. It's a little blush like that. This candy blusher is pretty pale pink matte shade. That was really weird. It's a pretty pale pink matte shade for soft feminine look. Our silky mineral blushes provide flawless matte coverage with a beautiful natural luminosity made from natural ingredients for a healthy glowing skin. £7.99 I think is a very fair price for a pounded blush just because, okay, the sifter is taped down, thank God for that, but it just looks like this colour, so I can show it to you now. So it looks like this colour, I actually don't mind that colour at all, it's a soft pink without being too vibrant. It's got like a hint, a hint of nude in there, like a hint of nude. I think for deeper complexions this might look too ashy. I think on very fair complexions to perhaps, uh, I don't know, let's swatch it. It might it might do medium skin tones, but I think this is more fair to light skin tones. It goes on light and then really warms to the skin. Um, it is a really pretty shade and I think that would look nice on someone with my complexion or lighter. I just struggle to see if this would look nice on anyone past a medium skin tone. I think if I like, for instance, if I had a tan, if I was maybe two or three shades darker, I could pull this off. I think this might look quite ashy on deeper skin tones. Um, but then that's the nature of a light pink. Sometimes it's a good formula and sometimes it just looks a bit ashy. I just don't know if it would suit you if you have a darker complexion. I think anyone with my skin lighter will be fine um, or anyone my skin tone and maybe a few shades darker will be fine if you've got more of a tanner, richer, medium skin tone. I think you pull this off. I think if you're any deeper than medium, I think you might struggle with this and find it a little bit too ashy. That's just something I've picked up, um, but it's a nice blush, it's nice, it's blended out nicely, it smells quite nice, and um, it's a nice colour, so yeah, very nice. The next box we have is Glossy Box. Oh, look how cool this is! Hang on, hang on, hang on, let me get it out. It's a zebra! I recall Glossy Box on their Instagram, like I follow them on Instagram, and they had like a cheetah and a zebra box, so I'm pretty sure, I don't know what's inside it, I didn't really look, but I know that there's a cheetah and a zebra thing going on. I'm not sure if the products are different because of that and I probably should have gone on my email and checked, but I didn't. 
so it says here that you either got like a zebra or a cheetah box i obviously got the zebra box um and then inside one of the items is customized packaging to match your box so actually you get exactly the same products so it's all good um but i got the zebra i've just realized that it's got like little paw prints in there as well that's kind of cute very unique let's open it up Ooh, this is like a really nice box so the first thing that i see is my little matching zebra thing oh okay so the palette doesn't actually match the packaging so didn't really matter which box you got this is a steve laurent eyeshadow palette it retails for 31 pounds get lost 31 pounds this feels like maybelline or like rimmel something like that drugstore 31 pounds get lost absolutely not so this is called the world thing palette um it's by steve laurent um blah 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 blah, blah subtle look blah, blah, blah. it's basically just an eyeshadow palette it kind of looks a little well it's just kind of like a smoky palette to be honest with you i think i'm not gonna swatch it and i'm gonna pass it on and be good because i have so many shades in my collection like this and although it's really cute and i love dinky little palettes like this i think i think dinky little palettes are so cute i don't think i'll use it and that's my honest opinion i don't think i'll use it so sorry if you wanted me to swatch these i assume they're pretty good quality i've used steve laurent eyeshadows before i think i had a single and it was pretty good quality to be fair it was quite creamy quite nice quite blendable um but it's just that the color story i actually love this color story and i think this is really really lovely it's really smoky you could get a nice daytime look with using these or you could get a nighttime look using like the darker smokier shades um but personally i just do not need another eyeshadow palette with smoky neutrals in i love it it's where my roots are at but i don't need another one you know the next thing in my box <laughs> Is this this is the eos sphere lip balm it retails for six pounds fifty and is of course a full size don't let painful dry chap lips stop you from living your wildest adventures full-on nourishing and soothing ingredients like shea butter jojoba oil and vitamin e these natural lip balms deeply hydrate and condition your pout whether you receive the sweet mint or pomegranate and raspberry or the strawberry sorbet flavor you'll be left with smooth supple lips i received the sweet mint i love minty lips i know a lot of people don't but the other uh, flavours were pomegranate and raspberry or strawberry sorbet I don't like the smell of fake strawberry fake strawberry makes like what does a strawberry taste like fake strawberry is just it's not my gig um pomegranate and raspberry sounds all right and sweet mint yeah happy with that 100% natural organic oils and sheer lip butter I actually only have one EOS lip balm I really like the look of them so cool like a lip balm very nice the next thing is a sheet mask this is the sos printed sheet mask by ok um it retails for four pounds it says channel your inner spirit animal with these fun sheet masks filled with skin loving ingredients like tea tree witch hazel willow bark and charcoal powder they work to calm tone and balance your skin for a clearer and healthier looking complexion apply yours onto a clean face for 10 to 20 minutes then gently peel off and massage the serum into your skin um cool sheet mask basically it's just like a nice purifying hydrating skin renewing reviving sheet mask i like that i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not too sure about the dalmatian print that will be on my face i think i'll look a little bit crazy i think it looks a little bit more like a cow than it does in dalmatian but i mean i'm not exactly gonna go out to the supermarket with the sheet mask on my face so it doesn't really matter how you look but cool i like a sheet mask anyway so nice the next thing in here it's a tube. This is the Mud Masky Hair Mask Scalp Treatment and Miracle Shampoo. Tame your dry, damaged, and frizzy mane with new three in one hair treatment. Formulated with Moroccan argan oil, Moroccan mud, and flowers, it's the first moist it first moisturizes the skin on your scalp, then repairs and hydrates the strength of your stress of your tresses. I don't know. Massage into your wet scalp and hair, leave it for one minute, then rinse. You have beautifully healthy locks in no time. Retails for £21 for 75 mil is that a joke 21 pounds now i'm all into like self-care you know self-love i believe that you should spend a pretty penny on yourself whatever time of the year whatever occasion whenever you want right 21 pounds for 75 mil is daylight robbery <laughs> so if it was just a mask and treatment i feel like 20 pounds is just expensive because you wouldn't necessarily use it all at once you maybe use maybe a third or a quarter like you use it maybe three or four times and it's a treatment so you know this thing this thing is not going to be used every day but it's advertising itself as miracle shampoo 
and that's where my problem lies is if you're suggesting I have to use this to wash my hair which is what I think it's suggesting I could be wrong but hair mask scalp treatment and miracle shampoo I think £21 is daylight robbery personally um, but I actually really like Mud Mask as a brand I think they are very expensive I do like them as a brand though I like their products I think they are really good products I like the quality of them um, I just don't like that price tag personally um, I can't wait to try it out it looks really cool so repairs hair strengths hair hydrates hair moisturizes scalp and dandruff control I think I will use this as a mask or a treatment I don't know it's called treatment but I think this would be one of those things that I use once every two weeks something like that um, and not on a daily occurrence because that'd be expensive and the last thing in this box I didn't even notice it was here until I looked at the card because it's so tiny it's so tiny and small I don't know if this is going to focus but this is the Stargazer glitter eyeliner pencil and retails for £2 you could receive one of six so obviously I've got mine in the silver shade nothing says fierce like an eyeliner with a touch of shimmery flare I disagree. These eye pencils are not only a feature highly pigmented formulas, but they have a sparkle of glitter scattered through them too. Apply yours along your upper lash line and blend it out for a scintillating smoky effect. I have no idea what that word says, never seen it in my life. Or sharpen the tip and draw a precise winged eye with sparkly undertones. Do I want this? The problem is with glittery eye pencils is they go one of two ways. The first way they can go is creamy, delicious, sparkly, sensational, life-changing. Okay, you got it? The second way it goes is dry, snags, drags on your skin, rips your eyelids into 50 million pieces, and then you damn yourself for ever putting it on your eye in the first place. So I'm hoping it's not the latter. If I can get into it before the day ends, That'll be great. Oh my god, I've just got it off. How many minutes did that take me? That took me four minutes. Four minutes to get this packaging off. That's ridiculous. Anyway, I've got there in the end. Mine is in the shade... Uh, silver. What an innovative name. I do like the packaging though. Like the lid is kind of glittery. I don't think you'll be able to see it. But the lid is glittery. I'm going to give it a swatch, okay? Remember the one of two ways it can go. Oh. Hmm. So there it is right there. It's like kind of glittery, kind of sheeny. I think I would kind of look a little bit weird with it on. It's not like that impactful silver. It's kind of grey with silver sparkles that are kind of there. And the last box that we have is Rock Box. First thing that I see is this. This is the Nails HQ Essentials Nail HQ Hardener. It's a full size and retails for £6.99. Um, and it's basically exactly what it says. This varnish contains collagen and minerals which is designed to toughen and protect your nails. It is specifically formulated for thin and weak nails, ideal for prepping your nails for the post-lockdown glow up. Um, I actually really like a nail hardener and I think you cannot get enough of them. I think, well, I go through these things like hotcakes. Like, they're the fastest nail polish I go through. It is a more liquidy formula um, and I would probably use this as a base coat or the first base coat before I put my nail polish on. I always have nail polish on, it's my favourite thing to do, um, is apply nail polish every week. I'm very rarely with bare nails, very rarely, I very rarely do I have bare nails. So I actually quite like a hardener, I don't have too brittle nails, my nails sometimes like they crack but they're not like flimsy and weak. But equally, I quite like to just give them that barrier um, by doing nail treatments and things like that. So this is cool. How much did I say this was? This was £6.99. I think that's a very fair price. £7, um, I think, is a fair price. Maybe if it was like £5, I feel a little bit more comfortable. You know me, I kind of like a little bit of a better price. Um, but £7 is cool. I don't mind that price. What's this orange thing? I like this. What's this? This is the Charles Worthington Moisture Seal Hair Healer Mini Takeaway. So this is a travel size and retails for £2.29. Uh, it says the conditioner is created using argan oil, coconut oil, abyssinian oil. Um, get the picture. It is full of encouraging, no, enriching oils to restore damaging and infiltrate deep into the hair follicle. Trust us, this will leave your hair feeling five times softer than usual. Um, perfect to prepare for that isolation glow up. Does that, that, does that, is that on the end of every single thing? That's perfect for the glow up. Anyway. A leave-in conditioner, I actually don't mind leave-in conditioners, I have very oily roots, like to the point where 
I should probably be washing my hair every day but I don't I wash it every other day and I just wash all my hair because my hair is shorter I find that the root the roots are here as well so if I try to avoid my ends I'd be just avoiding this much of my hair and to be honest with you oh my god I can't be bothered with that I'd rather just be like <laughs> wash it all and then put on a treatment at the end I'd rather just do that that's but like that that's how I feel um but I leave in hair conditioner I think is cool I like it it's a tiny tube I personally don't use tons of conditioner just because I do have oilier roots and I find that if I apply too much conditioner that my hair just gets oilier faster so um yeah cool I like it let's give it a little sniffy sniff oh yeah it's nice mmm that smells like an expensive hair salon. I've actually had Charles Worthington a shampoo and conditioner before and I felt like the bougiest queen around. Like, it feels bougie. The next product is this product from Jolique. This is the Jolique Rose Water Balancing Mist. It retails for £10 and it's a Dulux travel size. This packaging is gorgeous. So this will leave your skin feeling hydrated, soothed and well balanced whilst restoring a natural glow. It is subtle for all skin types and can be used all over your makeup. Um, an added bonus, it smells amazing. Oh, I really like this. Travel, Dulux travel size. It's kind of tiny for a travel size, but it's like a glass, like it's a pink matte. Oh, listen, on my ring. I don't know. It's like heavy, weighty. Oh, I like this. I love this. Jelly never heard of this brand before actually I have heard from this brand I've never known that they did this rose water bouncing was 10 pounds I think is a bit extortionate for something this small but let's just see what it smells like oh yeah I like the smell of that it's literally just like really rosy water really really like that I love roses so excited to use this this is literally so beautiful I cannot get over it this is gorgeous the next product is oh I think this is yeah this is the duo let me get this out together all right, I'm gonna try and hold this together if you cannot see, then it's not my fault. This is the Saint Tropez uh, Self Tanner Express Bronzing Gel and Mitt. This is a Dulux travel size, and obviously the Mitt is a full size. Um, the Mitt retails for five pounds, and the gel retails for five pounds seventy. Um, and it's well, okay, it's basically just a tanning gel. I don't, I don't really need to read the description of it to ask you. Uh, the tanning Mitt feels great. It feels really thick, really good quality. It's like a microfiber. Uh, velvet one which is really really nice dual sided new mitt really, really like that one I actually have a mitt on the go that I paid like 10 pounds for but a little bit more expensive I mean this one's five pounds so I don't think it's like that expensive and I have used that uh six times seven times maybe eight I don't know like I've used it a lot of times and it's nowhere near needing to go in the bin or anything because it's like a proper thick one it's almost like a scuba diving material like a scuba diving suit material it's, it's really nice um so I probably won't get around to using this anytime soon but it's nice to have when my mitt decides to give up on me this is a really good size it says medium oh actually no it doesn't say it says one hour hydrating tan uh leave for one hour for light leave for two hours for medium and three hours for dark cool one hour hydrating tan this might not be quite enough for my entire body so i think i'll just apply it to my arms and legs maybe the next thing this this is the LMS Peptide Plumping Pillow Facial. It retails for £18 and is a travel size. LMS is quite an expensive brand. This is a hydrating sleep mask which drenches the skin in moisture, helping to plump the skin and fight signs of tired and dull skin. When sleeping, your body temperature naturally rises, meaning you lose hydration. The overnight mask will leave you feeling and looking fresh in the morning as ever. This is a perfect addition to your natural look skincare regime. LMS is an expensive brand, okay? It's an expensive brand, and I don't think I would like to pay £18 for something so tiny, but um, I actually really like trying out some of their skincare. I have received their skincare in like advent calendars and things like that, and I really like them. I think they're quite a grown up brand. If yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to my words. They're quite a grown up brand, I'd say, um, because they're so expensive and they're always about like anti aging, making the skin look nicer, and you know, all that sort of stuff. But it's all about prevention before cure. So, yeah, I really like it. I'm not actually, I'm not a nighttime mask person. I don't like feeling like I put anything on me when I'm in bed, as in like product i like to feel clean i just like to apply a little bit of moisturizer let that sink in and go to bed so i don't think i'd like this to be left on my face if it's masky but if it soaks into my skin i'll really like that so yeah i'm excited to try this out i like the little tiny tube i think it's very expensive but 
LMS is. And then finally, I have the last product in here, which might be a bonus, yeah, it's a bonus treat. This is the Packed Coffee Plan Planalto Coffee. So I'm not a massive fan of coffee, however, my mum loves coffee. This is one that you have to use a cafetiere or AeroPress or dripper, like you have to use a filter because it's coffee granules. But that's cool, my mum will really like that because she likes coffee, I do not. So that's a gift for her. Okay, so I've had a little think about this whole situation and all three boxes are pretty good this month. I think the one that got me excited above all of these was actually Pip Box. I was gonna lift it up, but there's like stuff all over it now. But I think my favorite was actually Pip Box. So I think I wanna let Pip Box take the cake on this one. I was just really excited by the deodorant. The blush is really lovely. The mask looks really nice, like this mask, this blueberry mask. Um, a nice cuticle oil, it really felt nice and nourishing. And the body cream was like, okay, I didn't really like the scent of it or I thought it wasn't strong enough but it did feel like a nice cream on the back of my hand. So I thought it was a really, really good box. And obviously there was that mineral blush as well. So I think that is a winner this month. I really, really liked that box. I think the rocker box and the glossy box are very similar. I was trying to think of what I preferred more. Um, and I think the eye pencil from the glossy box was a bit rubbish, to be honest with you. Um, and the EOS lip balm's nice, the mask's nice. My problem is, is, I wanted to put them in a the drawer, but I feel like that's such a cop out if I put things in drawers all the time. And the reason I want to put Rocker Box in second place is because I liked everything in this box and I thought that apart from the LMS uh, facial balm thing, all of it's pretty affordable. Yeah, I take it or take, everything's pretty affordable. Okay, some things like the spray, like 10 pounds, that tiny spray is a little bit expensive, but it's still affordable. And because everything's kind of affordable in its own little way, whereas Glossy Box, just things were a little bit too expensive for my liking. That hair mask shampoo treatment, I think is quite expensive from Mud Masky. I know it's an expensive brand, but I just think, I don't know, I just 21 pounds, it didn't sit right with me. Um, the eye pencil, I know it's only two pounds, but to be honest with you, I'd rather just not have it. Like I'd rather just not. Like I'd rather have two EOS lip balms than have that. I just didn't really like that very much. The Steve Laurent eyeshadow palette, that's the one I was gonna talk about. Um, I don't like the fact that that's 31 pounds. You could view it as, maybe you get a 31 pound palette in your box, but I don't think it's worth that and therefore I'm gonna put the box in third place. I hope that makes sense. I just, I like to look at boxes and think, if I really enjoyed that, would I repurchase it again? I know with an eyeshadow palette, I'm not gonna necessarily repurchase it, so does it matter? Maybe not. But I don't know, something just doesn't sit right with me if I put it in joint second place. So, enough rambling. So here are the scores on the doors. In first place, we have Rocker Box with four points. In second place, we have Glossy Box with 3.5 points. And in last place, we have Pip Box with 2.5 points. So yeah, I'm really enjoying all these boxes in their own individual ways, and I'm really happy with it. So what else can I say? Thank you guys for watching. I really, really do appreciate you. If you have got any of these boxes, tell me what you got. Did you disagree with me? Do you agree with me? Was there any product that piqued your interest? Have you tried any of these products and were like, Megan, you were too harsh on that. You need to try it, it's changed my life. Tell me down below, talk to me. It's my favorite part about doing this whole YouTube business. It's my favorite part. Thank you guys for watching once again. I really do appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell because then you'll be notified of all the videos I upload. I upload every single week and you wouldn't wanna miss out on more content from me. No, you would not. No, you would not. Thank you guys for watching. I do love you to bits and I will see you in my next one. Bye.